Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hainang Pawana Sakpaknan. Close your eyes, watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to be sensitive to how the breathing feels. This is one of the goals of meditation, is to make you more sensitive to what you're doing. But at the same time, so it's supposed to make you tougher. That's a combination that Ajahn Sawat would talk about often. In the text, they talk about the mind being malleable. In other words, it's very sensitive to what's going on. And it's also responsive to what you tell it to do. As for the toughness of the mind, that's to deal with unpleasant things as they come up and not be swayed by them, not be quick to respond. As the Buddha told his son, try to make your mind like earth. Earth is going to meet up with unpleasant things. People throw all kinds of crap on the earth, but the earth doesn't react. And so you want to have that same quality of toughness in your mind. So learn how to bring these two qualities into balance, the sensitivity on the one hand, and particularly sensitivity to what you're doing. That's what matters. Because what you're doing is causing suffering, and you want to learn how to change. And as the Buddha said, it's because we're ignorant of what we're doing that we don't see how we're causing suffering. Sometimes we blame it on other people. But actually we have to look inside. So try to look inside and be sensitive to what you're doing. As to what other people do, try to be tough. In other words, don't be too reactive. Now we've got the proper combinations, like you're a turtle. The turtles are sensitive inside, but they've got a good hard shell. And when you develop these two qualities, then you can live in the world and not suffer so much. Because you're not creating suffering out of what other people do, and you're not creating suffering just on your own. That way you can live with yourself and you can live with the world and not, <clears throat> not cause any harm to either side. <clears throat>